Think of the English today, and you're more than likely to conjure up images of bowler hats, red telephone boxes, and lager-consuming soccer fanatics. That, and a natural-born propensity to harbour bad teeth. But travel back to medieval Britain, and you'll find a culture enamoured with the ale, the stout, the oak-barrelled, double-dropped, heartily made brews that defined this nation long before summer holidays to the Mediterranean. It's these drinks, and the characters behind them, that I've come to find out about. And here at the world-famous Witchwood Brewery in Whitney, I met with brand manager Chris Keating. If you think about a traditional English ale, you think about a pump clip, the, the thing that you see when you walk into a pub, and traditionally they may be shield-shaped, um, or something that evokes that English memory. If you look at the Witchwood character, the character is something that you don't expect to see. And we've had some you know, really great names, but people walk in and they think, well, what is that? It doesn't have all the traditional cues. Hobgoblin, you've got great beer, you've got great imagery. It appeals not just to the UK market, um, but it is still a great English beer. So it, it does well all over the world, whether it be in um, Russia, Italy, uh, Sweden, Canada, the United States, has a, and it has a big fan following. That's one thing I should probably point out. A staple fixture within the Whitney landscape for over 100 years, Witchwood Brewery is known at both a local and national scale for doing things differently. Go into the local pubs and you'll see oddly shaped pump clips, beer mats, and a general sense of quirkiness that is beginning to attract audiences the world over. It's this sense of engagement and the unconventional branding behind it that interested me, and I wanted to know more. Which would tends, to, in my you know, my view, leads the way. It's developed. You know, if you think about the wheat beer, a stout, it had um, an organic beer very early on. It led the way and and and, and, and sort of tempted people with new flavours. Um, and if you, if you think about that and, and the things that we do, the type of events we're involved in, the music sponsorships we're involved in, it's a completely different thing to your traditional ale. The brewery more recently garnered what some might deem the world's biggest brand spokesperson after David Cameron presented a bottle of its iconic Hop Goblin Ale to Barack Obama at the G20 Summit. We're fortunate to have, um, some people would say we're fortunate to have David Cameron as our MP. Um, and it was just, you know, we, we, to hand over a bottle to Barack Obama on the national stage, it was the G7 summit, was, you know, the best piece of PR that we could ever receive. Um, uh, interestingly now, we, we're thinking of calling him our best ever salesperson, um, uh, presenting him with an award. But uh, what was really good was that Barack Obama turned around and said he preferred it drunk cold. So we've now got... Um, a beer with a tasting note from probably the most powerful man in the, in, in the world. Witchwood's brews certainly transcend the typical drinking experience. With ale ingredients as exotic and enticing as a chocolate blended hobgoblin and a citrus infused dirty tackle, I wanted to look into why the brewery chose such interesting recipes. Why their drinks, perhaps more so than any other typical pub or even supermarket beer, find themselves as welcome compliments with more well-defined dessert dishes. We have a beer called Breaks Beer Triple, 7.2% um, in the bottle. And many people use it f with their dessert because it's quite sweet, it's quite strong at 7.2%, um, and it goes really well with cheeses and that type of thing. So we spend lots of time looking at you know, how that works. And we've used lots of chefs in the past to come up with recipes, either tasting the beer with the food or with the beer being used um, in the food itself. The essential branding behind Witchwood's collection is undoubtedly engaging. And aside from this notion of pairing flavors, Chris spoke to me about some of their more refined and discerning products. If you think back to some of the early beers that we developed, you had Fiddler's Elbow, which was a wheat beer. It was unusual in the UK in the 80s and 90s. And Fiddler's Elbow, he danced and played the music for the characters that lived in the forest. We had um, Circle Master, um, he warded off evil spirits and Circle Master was an organic beer. We had the Black Witch, who, who was, uh, was spellbindingly beautiful, but Black Witch was a stout. So you had all these characters, Goliath. Goliath was the giant that protected everybody in the forest. So we de developed beers with a story, but also they each had their own individual flavor. For a market that has long been saturated with cheap European lagers, the Witchwood Brewery is clearly bringing British beer back, and doing so in a way that's unique, 
creative and ultimately fun.